Cast your mind back to August 20th at 5.55pm, 16 Shots, who was part of the Stockwell Drill Collective Team Raw, lost his life, 4 days after his birthday. 20 year old Salem Koldu had recruited three mates, acquired a stolen VW Golf and armed themselves with long knives like javelins, and then made a decision to crash a party in Brixton, hoping and praying and wishing they could spot a rival, the court heard. Now during the fatal date on August 20th, Salem made stupid mistake after stupid mistake. He was misguided by his annoyance of 150. He first travelled to Wandsworth and found someone who looked like a rival. The man was then chased down like a prey by Salem and his mates, but thankfully, the potential victim managed to get away, hide, escape. Now by this time, adrenaline was flowing of course, and their knife hand was itching like crazy. The trio then drove to Brixton in a stolen VW and found out that an affiliate of 150 Drill Collective, known for its members like Sticks, Grizz and M-Dog, was hosting the party. And that person was 27-year-old Tyreek Williams. Now just before 6pm, Salem, also known as 16 Shots, crashed the stolen VW into Darius Quake's Mercedes, head-on collision. The golf then flipped onto its roof. Now after the crash, the trio pulled themselves from the wreckage. Salem's two mates ran off, where Salem pulled out his knife and chased down Darius Quake. 16 Shots captured his first victim, but he was quickly thrown off, and fortunately Darius was unharmed. Now that's when roles reversed in such a sudden fashion. Party goers who were nearby saw the commotion and they immediately armed themselves. The response was going to be violence and unfortunately death for Salem. 16 shots was chased down by up to 15 people who again were armed with weapons. 16 shots ran through the Brixton estate and crossed the Brizzy Brixton Road before falling to the ground. A witness who lived nearby says that she heard the shouts of Salem as he ran up and down the stairs and through the corridors as he begged and screamed for someone to help him. As Salem ran, the witness also says that his attackers were jumping over balconies and walls to cut off Salem's route, something these guys did when they were younger. Now Salem Kadu suffered 35 knife wounds, some that chipped away at his ribs and also chipped away at his skull, and sadly Salem lost his life. The three defendants deny anything to do with the incident and do not accept CCTV or forensic evidence the court heard and they are Yase Bullock and Darius Quake and now the trial continues. Again, an f- unfortunate set of circumstances where a man lost his life all because he couldn't curb his anger. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.